It is Friday, September 11th, 2020, and it's 9.14 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to read John chapter 2, but first, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who are, who've sinned against us. And Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. And I glorify your name, Lord. I await your coming. I thank you for sending Henry. Because he keeps me encouraged. It's so funny in this world wide web of all of the interminglings of people and things that are going on out there that that there would be a man out there don't have any idea where he lives but he mentions me in his videos and it's very special to me and I believe that you sent me to him to discover him Because he's out there doing a mighty work for you, testifying about his life, what he's been through since January, when you changed his life, and all the afflictions that the dev about the devil. And he's living proof, and so am I, Lord. I want to be out there too. I want to be out there testifying. I want to be out there laying hands on people to help help them be delivered from their afflictions. To show the miracle, the miracle of salvation, the miracle of being set free from your afflictions. But I thank you for Henry. It's been a strange day, Lord, this September 11th, 2020. And um, right now I'm looking at the, at the TV and the title of this video is called the, the Purposeful Exposure of the Deep State Cabal New World Order. The, the enemy of our enemy is not our friend. And it shows this... Um, what's supposed to be beautiful stained glass images of Christ, but what you can see in it are the are is evil, and what something and what you know the the that the the Christ that this person that's standing next to you is talking about is not necessarily the Christ that you're talking about, and it's very interesting that everything. That the, the path is narrowing because straight is the way and straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to the kingdom, that leads to life and life more abundantly. And Father, I just I just want you to use me. I repent of my sins. I ask you to provide me with provision that I can go out and serve you according to your riches and glory. Glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to read John chapter 2. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. 
And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I, ha what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, The servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, he knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, that he which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. And this, and this, after this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting and when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise. He, he was mad. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews, and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? And Jesus answered unto them, and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body, Wow. I got the Holy Ghost flowing all over me right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for me understanding this word. Hallelujah. Okay, so verse 20 again. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou wear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover and the feast day, many believed in his name. When they saw the miracles which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all the men, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Wow. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.